According to the science we have from Nutrigenetics, we know that out of 20 nutrients that you might take, statistically one of them harms you, two have no effect and the rest is at the wrong dose. And this is what we fix. But what can a genetic test tell us that would then factor into a personalized recipe recommendation? There are a number of examples. We're actually testing 52 genes and I just want to mention a few of them just to give you a rough idea of the kind of science and kind of principle that we have to create the personalized recipe. One example is coenzyme Q10. It's commonly used in supplements and cosmetics because it can actually be converted into a very strong antioxidant protecting us from uh, substances called free radicals which attack our tissues and can actually speed up aging. This is why they put it in, in uh, cosmetics and supplements and it's in fact a good idea. In fact the body even produces coenzyme Q10 itself because of its protective function. So if your genes are working fine, coenzyme Q10 is a very good way of supporting your body's protection. However, 6% of the population don't have a functional gene that is required to convert Q10 to the active form called ubiquinol. So what happens in these people, they take Q10, if they did a blood test the levels would be perfect, however they would not have the protection they are expecting to have. So a genetic test tells us is your body able to convert Q10 to the active form and should we put it into the mix because it would protect your cells or does Q10 actually not work in you and we need to use other antioxidants which have a similar function at a higher dose to compensate. Another example is iron. Iron can actually be taken up from food, mostly red meat, and can lead to the formation of blood. So it's very important to have enough iron. Especially young girls often have iron deficiency and they really require an adequate amount through food or supplements to cover their needs. However, some people have a genetic variation in a gene called HFE, which actually regulates how much iron we take up from food. And people with certain genetic variations in these genes actually take up too much iron. So instead of having iron deficiency, they're having iron overload. And in these cases, these people certainly should not take additional iron in the form of supplements. So routine can test this gene can find out if you might be taking up too much iron from fruit anyway and in these cases exclude iron from the mix. So watch out if you're taking a standardized mineral supplement that contains iron because you might be one of the 0.5% of the population that should definitely not be taking this because it would be harmful for you. Another example are omega-3 fatty acids. They're typically delivered in the form of fish oil capsules and they are used to improve cholesterol, especially for people with a high risk of heart disease or high cholesterol levels. And it is in fact helpful. Taking omega-3 fatty acids can improve your HDL cholesterol, your healthy cholesterol. However, science has shown that this is not the case in everyone. People who have a certain genetic variation in a gene called ApoA1 actually have the opposite effect. So if they have bad cholesterol, and they take omega-3, they actually make the HDL cholesterol worse rather than better. If they have the other version of the gene, omega-3 is actually helpful. So depending on what your goal is, improving your cholesterol, omega-3 might be a very good way or actually a counterproductive strategy. Concerning vitamin D, there are very strong genetic differences from one person to the next. Our body can actually produce its own vitamin D and that specifically happens when UV rays or sunlight touches our skin. A lot of people don't get enough sunlight however and are deficient. But even having normal amounts of vitamin D through either sun contact with the skin or through nutrition, usually fish, um, even that can mean that you are not sufficiently supplied with enough vitamin D. There is something called a vitamin D receptor and you could uh, imagine it like this. The surface of the cell needs to recognize if there is vitamin D in the body. And vitamin D circulates through your body and the surface of the cell has a receptor, which is a structure kind of like this, which can recognize vitamin D and grab onto it 
and then see, okay, we apparently have enough vitamin D. And this receptor then initiates a healthy response, initiates certain processes in the body that initiates the healthy effect of vitamin D. So this receptor recognizes vitamin D and initiates this response. Some people have a genetic variation in a gene for this receptor, which changes the instruction. So the receptor, instead of looking like this, looks like this. It can still recognize vitamin D, but a lot less efficiently. So if enough vitamin D is circulating in a body, this might not be enough to initiate the full healthy response. But science has shown that if the vitamin D content is increased further, enough of these less efficient receptors can be activated and then they, re they initiate the actual healthy response that you would be hoping for. So what does this mean? If you did a blood test to see if your vitamin D levels are okay and if they are in the normal range, this might actually mean you, you are supplied sufficiently or it might mean that you need a lot more to have the same healthy effect. A genetic test can give you this extra information and if that's the case, we can increase the amount of vitamin D in your daily mix. Taking these and more than 40 other genes into account, we can create a genetically personalized recipe to find out what you need, what you don't need, what works in you and what dosages you need. Then we can factor in blood test results that we can perform as well as nutritional analysis. And based on all of this information, we create your unique recipe and this is exactly what you get in your daily sachets. After three months, you can do another blood test and we can then take this information to fine tune your recipe for your next shipment. This ensures that you're getting a scientifically based personalized supplement that covers exactly what you need.